good pull up by picking up a one incident today. Uh, at nil all, Bilicic ran into the penalty area and appeared to be infringed, appeared to have his shirt pulled, still got his shot away. And everyone, all the players wanted a penalty and the referee didn't give it. Is there a reluctance to give penalties for, for deliberate half fouls that stop a player scoring? Shouldn't that be a penalty? Well, I suppose it's the balance that the referees have got to strike. There, there's, on the one hand, there was an argument that they were given penalties that were too soft. But on the other hand, then maybe the flip side to that is you don't get the ones that you're talking about. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, it's a tricky one. I can't, I've got enough problems myself without worrying about what the referees' problems are, to be honest with you. But we, we obviously wanted a penalty in that in, in that situation. Alex Aljo, Premier League Productions. Hi. Just looking ahead to the Nottingham Forest game, how wary do you have to be of a side fighting to stay in the Premier League desperate for points every game? You always have to be wary in the Premier League. Um, <clears throat> you know, you can't say on the one hand that it's the greatest league in the world and then think there's easy games. There, there aren't. Uh, I think Forest got a uh, fantastic result against Liverpool, I think, before the break. I have a huge respect for Steve Cooper and the job that he's done there. He's a tremendous, fantastic coach. So they'll be ready. They'll be um, the atmosphere will be uh, hostile. I'm pretty sure because they they've been back in the Premier League for uh, uh, first year for a long, long time. So every game, especially Chelsea coming to town, is is a big game for them. So they'll be motivated and they'll have the quality and they'll be fighting for the points. So uh, we have to be we have to be ready. Um, well, we, we want to keep improving. That's that's what that's a simple answer. Um, <clears throat> we've had a, a challenging, I would say, challenging uh, some ups and some downs in terms of t uh, the previous year, which is normal, I think, in any football club. But we want to try and stabilise and we want to try and improve and um, and and make our supporters happy because we know that before the break, the last few weeks, it, it wasn't nice for for us. Results suffered and performances weren't uh, where we'd like them to be, so we have to do better than that. Adrian and Gary. Uh, Graham, can I? Um, you also have to deal with Reece James before you have a back on spell where you have to try and find a solution to, to deal with that. Can you just talk about how difficult that is, trying to reshape your team to cope with that, somebody like him, and almost what you learn from that first spell of having to deal with that in, in case you have to then do it again for an extended period of time? Well, I mean, if you go back to the Newcastle game, we had no Kepa, no Reese, no Wesley, no Ben Chilwell. We lost Mark Cucurella overnight with illness. We lost Ruben lost the cheek after two minutes. No Kante. Uh, lost Aspie after 20 minutes. Uh, no Raheem Sterling. And that was just a period that we were in, you know, so, and we've still got quite a few guys unavailable. Um, but that, that's the challenge of the multiple competitions, the multiple. Um, uh, games in a short space of time with the World Cup coming up. I mean, the one thing that I, that I reflected on over the time is just when player, you know, Ben Ben Chilwell, for example, gets injured, and the effect that that has, you know, everyone else is looking, you know, could I could I be next, you know, could I miss the World Cup? It's 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 difficult. But again, it's not these these aren't sounds like I'm making excuses. I'm not. It's just I'm just telling you what, what I think of the situation and. Um, we have to deal with it. That's what it is. The break hasn't been a positive one for us. I could have made lots of excuses if the result hadn't gone our way because we had four players for the first two weeks. The dripping back in, the break that you think you have to work with the team is not there because you haven't got the players, etc., etc. But as you said, there's no you, you can't make those excuses. You just got to win, and we did tonight, so that's good. So some of those names that you mentioned from the Newcastle game obviously are, are back and available. So in terms of dealing with, with Reese being out. Just having a few more of them back, just, just give you a few more options and maybe might be a little bit easier yeah. to, to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, like, like I said, I think we played the Milan game. We had Reese. Um, I think Angola was getting close. We were thinking he could be available. And, and then there's an injury at the back end of his rehab. And all of a sudden, Reece lo you know, we lose Reese. And you think, well, we've gone from a quite a healthy position to a not so healthy position. Um, and our job now is to try and get as many people back as we can. It's been a real tough period, uh, as as challenging as it has been 
I would say in, in, in my time as, as a coach but um, you know you, we're at Chelsea and, and people don't want to hear those reasons stroke excuses you've got to get on with it and we've got to try your best to find the answers OK two more and we're done we'll do Adam and then Tom to finish I just want to ask you about Ben Sakari. he didn't play too much in the first half of the season he's come to Ben and done fairly well do you mm. feel he's going to be a player who maybe steps up in the second half of the season now he's adapted and he's yeah, I think Dennis, whenever he's played, has not let us down. Um, played in the Champions League against Zagreb, I think, and uh, scored. So he's, he's shown his quality. I've said before, he's been had to be patient. Um, we had some good options in the midfield. And um, you have to remember, we didn't lose, I think, for the first few games. So it was hard to, 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 for him to get that opportunity. But he's remained professional and worked really hard and that's why he gets his rewards tonight with a, I thought a decent performance and a contribution to a win. Can I just check, is, is Matteo um, and Hakim going to be back for Forest after his what situation with Mendy Mendy? Both of those guys will be back. Um, Mendy, we're not sure, we'll see how he is over the next few days. So the problem with his uh, bone here uh, that he picked up in the World Cup, so still a bit, little bit of time. Last question, Tom. Graham, you just listed all of the injuries that you've had to contend with here, and a few of them are the setbacks with uh, Wesley, Reese, and Ngolo. C can you kind of put your finger on why it is, why Chelsea have endured all these injuries? Is it just bad luck? Or? No, I don't think it's. Well, uh, there's a little bit of bad luck. I don't think it's completely. I don't think you should completely throw it to something that you can't do anything about. There's an element of luck, of course, and then there'll be other things, um, like I said, that, that happen. But um, that's for us to try to learn from and get better with. But um, again, it's been a challenging season. Um, I don't know how pre-season was. I wasn't here, so I, I can't comment. And um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, sometimes you have these. I think Liverpool had a, a period similar earlier on in the season. It can happen, especially when, like I said, you play in so many games in a short space. And um, without knowing the full extent of pre-season, it's hard for me to comment.